Hey everyone, so today I am doing a first impression, which you already know if you read the title. Anyway, um, it's going to be on this one here, which is a drugstore brand, Wet n Wild. I am quite a big fan of Wet n Wild. Most of their products I seem to like. There are a few I don't, but most of them I do. So I'm hoping this is one that is good. And Wet n Wild is so affordable and cruelty free, which is amazing. So this is called the Photo Focus Foundation. I have bronze beige and soft ivory with me today. It's in like a glass packaging with a plastic lid. It says goodbye photo flashback. Helps eliminate white particle reflection. It's being tested under seven light conditions with top smartphones and with and without flash. You get 30 mil which is your average amount for a foundation. In US dollars it is $5.99. It says your skin only better um, and it says it's specially made with a matte light diffusing complex to give your skin no filter perfection. It's been tested in all of these lightings. I love how it's like nightclub lighting. <laughs> I'm not quite sure how many shades they have, but it does look like they have quite a good shade range. They look like they've got some darker colors, obviously. I'm just going off the website swatches, though, but I'm sure you could Google it. So I've already moisturized, and I'm just going to... I've got, like, fluff stuck to my... I'm going to prime half of my face so we can see if there's any difference with the longevity, the application, the look of it. I'm using the Jouer Anti-Blemish Matte Primer. Did I say blemish? Blamish. I'm going to prime this side of my face today. This is TMI, but um, yesterday I popped out a blackhead. It was like sticking out of my nose, like this hard piece of like something. I was like, what is that? Hey, look, it was a blackhead. Popped it out and it literally left a hole in my face. I'm offended. Okay, now I've just got to figure out which color I am. So, ooh, it comes on a little dipstick. Is that what these are called? Dipstick? <laughs> Telly tummies. Did anyone else used to call? Anyway, so this shade is bronze beige. Which looks decent. Don't mind my fake tan. It is horrendous. Horrendous. My skin started peeling. Which never happens. It was really weird. Um, and then this shade here is Soft Ivory. So I might have to mix them. There you go. So yeah, I'm just going to mix them. I am just going to start on the non-primed side. I have no idea how much to use. So I'm just going to do a little... Oh, a drip. It's quite runny. Okay, and then the lighter colour. I'm just going to slap them on. Just be careful, it is runny and it drips. Today I'm going to use a round face brush to blend this out. Okay. I'm just going to stipple first. I really like the undertone of these colours. They're a good undertone for me. They're not orangey or anything. Hopefully it doesn't oxidise. That'll be the next thing. It's very incredibly easy to blend and the coverage is quite good considering how it, like slimy and slippery and thin it is. It's not like super thin, but it's just very runny, you know? I do feel like it streaks a little bit, so it does go on better when I like kind of tap it in like this. Or of course you could use a sponge. Ooh. Looks kind of good. So I'm kind of like buffing it first and then I just like to tap over top. And it's really quick to like blend. That color looks pretty good. Let me zoom you in. So it's sitting on my skin quite nicely. It's not emphasizing my pores, but it doesn't conceal them either. The coverage is like a medium coverage, I would say. You can see it's a tiny bit of redness. I'm just going to see if it's buildable. So let's do a little bit more. I'm just gonna do another stripe of each color. See when you put it on, it's quite runny. You can kind of see what I mean. Love the color. Such a good color. And stipple. See, like, when I tap, you can see where the brush goes, so it can be a bit streaky, so honestly, probably a sponge would be better. Like, honestly, it applies amazing with a brush, like you can see, but I feel like with a sponge, you're going to get a seamless finish a little bit quicker. So that's how it looks. It does not look heavy whatsoever. It doesn't look cakey at this point. Like, you can tell I'm wearing makeup, but it's really pretty, and in my opinion, it's quite a natural finish. It's not like super matte, which I like. I don't like anything too matte on myself, and I find I can just use a powder if I want it to be more matte, so I really like the finish, and it did cover the redness that second time around. Honestly, I think that's looking beautiful. It doesn't cover the freckles as much, but loving it. Let's try it on the prime side now. I can't remember how much I use, so I'm just going to go do a few more dots around the area. Whoops. I do wish it was in, like, a pump, because... It just is a little bit like messy with that stick. It doesn't stick to the stick very well. Um, you have to be very careful. So I feel like a pump would be a little bit safer, but oh well. The lid feels very tacky, like it would break easily. Like you can hear that. Um, but the actual like bottle is nice and glass and it's not too heavy. 
it kind of reminds me of my favorite foundation by YSL, the Fusion Ink. Um, it's a very similar texture to that. Like it kind of dries down to a velvety look. It definitely has not dried completely matte to the touch. Like I think you definitely would have to set this with a powder. But it, yeah, it really does resemble my favorite YSL foundation, which I hope it lasts well throughout the day because I'd be so happy to find a cheaper alternative. Plus I think it's quite hard to get these days for some people. I've been told it's not discontinued, but I can't find it on some websites, so I don't know. Okay, on at the prime side, definitely it's not as streaky. It really did stick to the base a lot better. Um, and I didn't have as many of those brush strokes, so that's good. I think because it's such a like slippery, runny-ish texture, the primer just stuck it down, which was good. So that's good to keep in mind. Look at this neck. Like what is happening? <laughs> I think this looks so good right now. Oh my gosh, I don't want to get my hopes up because the last couple of um, first impressions I've done have not been great. <laughs> so I'm like nervous, but I mean... First impression wise, like this feels so nice on my skin. This freaking eyelash, can you just buzz off? On my nose, it looks a little bit um, chunky where I've got some drier skin. It's gripping onto it a little bit, but not as badly as those last couple of foundations I reviewed. So we'll see how it goes throughout the day. Really liking the way this looks. On the prime side, it definitely um, conceals my pores a little bit better. It's not like a huge difference but I do think the primer worked well in this case with this foundation. So I'm going to quickly chuck on my concealer, brows, powder and all that stuff. I'll be right back. Okay so I've done my brows, I've done all of my base and everything. I used my no filter concealer with my Kat Von D setting powder under my eyes and then for my skin, the rest of my face, I used my Cover FX pressed powder. The only place it looks a little bit cakey is actually for some reason on the unprimed side of my face, right here where I put a little bit of concealer, it looks way chunkier than the other side. I don't know what's happened, but I thought I'd point it out. Other than that, the rest of my face looks so flawless. It feels lovely, like really lightweight. It feels set. It definitely probably looks heavier than it feels, to be honest. It looks at very full coverage and very glam at this point, so I'm actually quite happy with how this looks. Um, I'm feeling positive. I hope it performs it well throughout the rest of the day. Also something good to note is it hasn't oxidized in my opinion. It still looks amazing and it looks pretty much the same tone it did just before. So I'm gonna go film a different video now, a, a makeup tutorial and everything and I'll come talk to you guys later. The time is currently 11 a.m. I am starting a little bit later today so I will see you guys later. Hello. Ooh. Hello there. Um, so it's only been on for an hour and a half, but I just came back because I just had to blow my nose and I just want to say it comes off very easily, like where I've blown my nose. So I'm just going to take my little foundation brush that I used earlier and just pat on that area and we're pretty much good to go. So I, so far, honestly feel like this is such a good alternative to the YSL one. Like. I just think it looks incredible. It looks velvety smooth. It looks amazing coverage. Hasn't faded or gripped onto any dry areas any more, you know, than before. Even on my nose, it doesn't even look that bad now that I have it set it with powder and everything. It looked worse just at the beginning when I didn't set it. I feel like it's ever, ow, I feel like it's ever so slightly starting to sink into an expression line up here. So we'll keep an eye on that throughout the day. But so far, it hasn't faded or anything like that. The worst part is just that, you know, when you blow your nose, it kind of comes off, which... I swear I have something in my eye. Ow. I can't find it. I think I've got an eyelash in my eye, but it's like underneath. Got it. Oh my god, this was in my eye. This is gross, but can you see that huge fluff? I don't know if you can see how long that fluff is. It's kind of like clear. It's literally like an inch long. What the heck? I feel better now. <laughs> As I was saying, yeah, like most foundations kind of smudge when you blow your nose, so I'm not too bothered with that. And that's obviously not something that's gonna happen every day, so. Anyway, by the way, I'll link this make a look down below for you. Hey guys, quick update. So it is 3 p.m. So I put this on four hours ago and I just wanted to say it's still looking amazing. I can't see any changes. It hasn't faded whatsoever. Look how perfect that still looks. And I was thinking more about it and like the stick. I wonder if they actually were going for a YSL kind of dupe 
situation. This is the YSL one and it also comes with a little stick. So like I don't know if they've done that to copy this or if it's just a coincidence and they're really not trying to copy this but regardless so far I honestly think it's a pretty good dupe. So I'm looking forward to seeing how it wears throughout the rest of the day. Around my mouth it's a little bit cakey but that is because I've reapplied it Redeployed it. Redeployed it. I've reapplied it a few times because I just did a lip swatch video. So I've just got a little bit extra product just around here. So I'm kind of going to ignore that because obviously that's because I've been removing makeup, putting it back on, removing it, putting it back on. And I've been like using this brush to buff it in. So we're going to ignore the immediate lip area. Okay. Hey guys, so this is my second to last update. It is at 6 p.m. 10 past 6 p.m. And it is still looking amazing. Like I said around my lips is a little bit dodgy. Other than that, look at this. This has like not faded and almost every foundation fades on me. So I'm so happy. The worst I can comment on is it's a little bit flaky right here. You can see it like right there. And I think it's just from me reapplying my um, makeup around my mouth like I said and like massaging it's kind of gripped onto it because I also have really dry skin down here but it hasn't gripped on to that so around my nose it's barely creased it often melts right here and creases right here but it hasn't really done it too bad it has a little bit but not too bad it's actually sitting a lot better than most <laughs> foundations do around my nose I'm like pretty stoked right now hasn't sunk into expression lines any more than last time and it still looks really nice and even it doesn't look patchy or anything like that apart from right here like I said but like the rest of it look how terrible this is like <laughs> I should have put it all down my chest but anyway I'm stoked. Hey guys, so I had pizza for dinner and then I felt really full so I took the dog for a massive walk and I'm high key sweaty right now. So good test. <laughs> it is 9.30pm, just got home. It still looks pretty good. It's definitely deteriorated at this point. But like I said, it still looks good. It's just when you look up close there's a little bit of here and there that's not so ideal. So it's been on for what, is that like 10 and a half hours? I can't remember what time I started. Anyway, it's been on for a really good time. Good time, a really good amount of time. I'm so like tired right now. I'm actually very happy with this foundation. I'm 100% gonna keep using it. The sweat is definitely coming through a little bit so I'm not sure how to go on super oily skin. Like I can feel the sweat coming through but it still looks quite nice. It doesn't look too shiny. I have my light on and as you can see it's not like bouncing off too bad. Like it doesn't look too bad. I'd say the worst area is are uh, pretty much just around my nose. It's gone a little bit cakey, but disclaimer, I have been blowing my nose here and there throughout the day. I think I've blown my nose about four or five times. I only touched it up that first time. Like I said in here, it was a little bit cakey after I did my concealer, so I don't think that's the foundation's fault because it didn't do it anywhere else. And it has faded ever so slightly down here, but it could have been the pizza. It has not faded. It's a miracle. It hasn't faded. I'm so happy. This foundation is so cheap. And it seriously is pretty much a dupe for my YSL foundation. I'm going to go tell all my friends because I've made all of my friends buy the YSL foundation. They're about to all be angry at me because they could have saved like $80. In New Zealand, the YSL foundation is a lot of money. Just FYI. So let me know if you guys have tried this foundation. Leave a comment down below if you're going to try it. If you have tried it. If you're not going to try it, I'd love to know what you think. If you've tried it, let me know your review. And yeah. I'm stoked. I'm so excited to try it again one day when I'm not sick <laughs> to see how it lasts, you know, without the blowing nose situation. I'm pretty impressed though. Usually when I'm sick or like getting over a sickness, the foundation doesn't last this well. Like, just saying. So yeah, I'm very, very happy. I think it looks super flawless. The color is perfect. Like, obviously I mixed them. But the undertone, it didn't oxidize. It didn't cling it too badly to dry areas and it just, I think it just looks pretty. Let me know if you agree and I will talk to you guys in my next video.